I had a dream of my wife. In it, I murdered her for my lover. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. Stat. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. I had chosen Mona. It felt like I had lost her. You're a real angel, Max. is a murderer. Back Max. off, Pain. Max, She's after stay us. back. Winners She's one of them. Max, Max it's, it's your duty as a detective, Max. <laughs> you are under duty? arrest for murder. That's the best you I'm can do. I'm doing this for you, Max. A bullet in the head. I can end the game. Ah! the wreckage of your own making. Do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? This is your final warning. We have surrounded the building. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. All units are in position. We are ready to go. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. Okay, people. Get ready to go in. We are gonna hit the place. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. hospital earlier tonight. I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose. How you feel. 
I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough. Too long. Give up! You have nowhere to run! The cleaning company commandos were coming for me. I needed a gun. I needed to get past them. Hope the painkillers were enough to keep me on my feet. Bella, Nick Safe in there, you stupid. I'm coming for you. You can run, but you won't get far. Come here. That was me. You're gonna get it now, me. How stupid can you get it? You're safe in there. I'm coming for you. You can run, but you won't get far. Make sure he doesn't get past us. Hunt him down. Sounds like a plan. Security! Stay where you are! Drop your weapons! You drop it! Die, coward! The dead security guard had dropped his gun in the doorway.
Code of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part. construction site I had been ready to give myself in. There would have been no answers, no second chance. Nothing would be fixed. I had to solve the case on my own. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye, felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path, recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. The architecture of Alfred Woden's manor had its origins in European darkness along with the inner circle. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs? Next question. Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. I left Woden at the door of his panic room. By talking of fate, Vlad had been asking for my blessing to his plan to murder me. I'd been keeping to the backbeat, reacting to Vlad's moves, cleaning up after him. No more. It's starting! Get in! Quick! It's starting! <laughs> All right! Hey! What are you doing? It's the killer! 
little chick with him? Get him! Jumpsuit, the illegal firearms, the hard evidence that proved Vlad was behind it all. Okay, what's happening? Somebody get in here, tell me! I can still hear gunshots! Is she still coming? Stop her! Fire the hole! She could be headed here! course. If I'd find one, the odds were I'd find the other. Vlad was after Vinny. He had left me a map to follow. You have one new message. Vlad, it's me. Where are you? I need you. I'm on my way to the construction site now. Winterson? I'll do it. I'll take care of them both for you. I don't know. Is this a crime? Is it against the law to be happy? They haven't seen you with my boy. Haven't seen you with me. Miss you. Call me. The 
gilding on the mask had cracked to reveal the rot underneath. Winterson's confession didn't wash away my guilt. It made me feel worse. I had a meeting scheduled with Vlad at Vinny's place. More cleaners! Waste them! Get them before they get out! I was still a couple of blocks away from Vinny's place. I had to get moving. Who was driving it? Fire in the hole! Take cover me! So long ago, the V-Tags had bloomed everywhere in the city. Now they only remain in the worst neighborhood, the monster's grave. The whole neighborhood was a battle zone in a mob war between Vlad's men and Vinny's mobsters. Vinny's used car lot was up ahead. I had to find a way down to the street. I could use some backup. Where the hell have you been? What took you so long? Where's the rest of you? You're the reinforcements Vinny promised us, right? Who else? Only it's just me. The cleaners got the rest. God damn it, they're killing us like flies! I guess one extra gun's better than nothing. Okay, let's go!
All right, we'll head to the lot. We need to keep those Russians away from the boss. Yeah, uh, keep, keep them away from the, the captain. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I know it's nothing to laugh about. Deadly serious. The adventures of Captain Big Head got nitty. Hey, enough! We got a job to do. Training cats and dogs here. For I'm a rain dog too. Stay sharp. Gonna rain something else too when the cleaners show up. Kill it! happening to me? Pain, you gotta help me. There's a freaking bomb in here. If I take the head off, it blows. Bye-bye, Vinny. You're a freaking cop. You gotta help me. How did this happen? The Russian tricked me. Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. We gotta get out of here! Through the backyard! I didn't buy Vinny's promise to help me, but I was willing to do anything to complicate Vlad's plans. Pain! Cover me! Cover me! We gotta get through there! Pain, what are you waiting for? Don't let them get me! Kill them! Kill them! What are you waiting for? Don't let them die! Kill them! 
my pain! Thank <laughs> you. 
I tell you, fucking much. Nothing nerdy. No, 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 hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Those are priceless collector's items. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Oh.
fun in a fucking terrible, sick, not at all fun way. Vinny needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian. She's part of the same fucking crew. You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the funhouse. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead and she wouldn't have come after me. came to get me through the fire.
Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective, tied to time and place, love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Winter. <laughs> In the dream, I was an invisible ghost, hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. A crime of passion. Hope you haven't had your lunch this yet. This one's yours, Payne. Bad. You're the only one who can solve it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne. Oh, you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. Six milligrams. Charge. Clear. Clear. Stop it. Go again. 300. 300. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Doctor. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you going to do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. Come on. Time to wake up.
That won't help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards. When you ask why me and what if. When you look back to see the branches like a pruned bonsai tree or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor, you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming!
brought to you in part by cleansing cleaning products. Deeper into the building. Look for Warden or Vlad. All right. My friends, I wouldn't have it any other way. But together, Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. Saxon Payne, they're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before. Mono is still on the case.
Someone's in his panic room at the back of the manor. It's up ahead. See you there. Dead end. Damn it. Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Wood. Vlad had told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess, and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time.
is wrong with you, man? Why don't you just die? You hate life. You're miserable all the time. Afraid to enjoy yourself even a little. Face it, you might as well be dead already. Do yourself a favor. Give up! Hey!
everything all right down there? Did you know that the old man used to come up Ooh, Is this the way you want to play it, cock? You want to be a bad boy, man? Like on the dome above hung over his head like the sword of Damocles. chance is to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love. 
darkness waiting in the hole of the mouth. We are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's going to be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here, this way, there! Easy. Oh my God. He's got a live one here! Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. <laughs>